Hey, Rich Friends, it's your girl Cha Cha reporting live from The Money Mantra, and we are back with another Forex education video. I created this channel to help as many people as possible become independent and profitable traders. So if that's something that you've been looking for, you're in the right place at the right time. And I do just want to give a huge warm welcome to all of my new and returning subscribers, because this channel would not be what it is without you guys. I really, really, really appreciate all of the shares, the comments, the engagement, and the questions that you guys are asking me because it just shows that you are dedicated to your education. And it's just a nice reminder to me that there are people out there who want to learn how to trade. So that just makes my job so much more easy and so much more fun. I love showing up for y'all. I love interacting with y'all. And I love answering your questions in the comment box. Now, if you want to connect with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on TradingView. I try to post trade ideas at least once a week over on there so you can get some more tips and value on TradingView. Or if you like to register for my personal mentorship course, all of the information is down below in the description box. And I hope that I see you in one of my live classes soon. So in today's quick video, we're going to be going over one of my favorite indicators. It's actually one of the indicators that I started trading with about four years ago. And although I don't use it as much now, it is pretty helpful for beginners. And I like to call it the training wheels of indicators. And I'm going to explain exactly what that means as we get into our tutorial about the Bollinger Bands. So to access this indicator, the first thing that you want to do is go to tradingview.com. This is where I do all of my analysis and charting. After you select the thing that you're going to be analyzing, you want to go to the indicators tab and you want to click on it. And then you want to type in Bollinger Bands. That's B-O-L-L-I-N-G-E-R. And although a few different ones will come up under technicals, you just want to click the OG Bollinger Bands. And if you want to make it even easier for yourself, you can click this star to the left and it'll add it to your favorites. And once you click your favorites tab, all of the indicators that you like will be even more easily accessible to you. So we're going to click on Bollinger Bands once and this is what pops on our chart. And we're going to break down how to use this indicator for entry points and for exit points and just to sharpen up your trading game. So I want you to actually hover over where it says BB, click on the settings tab. And the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make the upper band a little bit thicker by clicking on the red box and changing the thickness of the line. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the lower band as well. Now you can change your basis as well, or you can keep it the same, it's completely up to you. But I'm just going to click OK, and now I can see the changes that I've made to my chart. Now, when I say this indicator is like the training wheels of trading, I really do mean that because what you'll notice, no matter what time frame I click on, this is the four hour, right? This is the daily. This is the one hour. I want you guys to notice that 90% of the time, the candles are staying within the Bollinger Bands. This means that Bollinger Bands, the upper and lower band, act as a built-in support and resistance for your trades, which makes it super easy for beginners or anybody that's struggling with entry points. For example, if we look here, we can see that once the candle started to push outside of that lower band, it actually made a correction and it came up, it came back down, it didn't quite get as low. But every time it got close to the lower band, no matter where we look, the market seems to push up and turn around. The same thing can be said about the upper band. Once the market pushes outside of that upper band, you know that a reversal is imminent and the market should be coming down soon. So that's the first thing that I want you guys to notice about the Bollinger Bands is that once it pushes up against the upper band, right, and it's having a hard time pushing through, right, if you use other indicators like actual resistance or supply demand, you'll see the upper band is a great place to enter for sales. And there are many examples of this. And the bottom band is going to be a great place to enter for buys. Now, the cool thing about the middle band is that you can also use this band to help you with your entry points. For example, once you see that the candles have pushed above the middle line and they start to close above the middle line as well, that is going to be your new support. Right. So you can use the middle line as support and resistance as well, because what we notice is that once the candles cross above the middle line, 
right? It tends to bounce off of the middle line as a new support versus going all the way down to the lower band. And the same thing can be said for once the candles cross below, right? Our middle line, we see that the market continues to sell. Now, one tip I want to show you guys about the Bollinger Bands, and this is something that took me a while to catch on to, the flatter the lower or upper band is, the more likely it is to be support or resistance. Versus when the upper or lower bands are slanted, it lets you know that the market may continue in that direction. So this is what I mean by this. So here we can see that the lower band is pretty flat, right? And it is used as a strong area of support. We see that the market pushed up, came outside of the upper band, came back down to our middle line, continued to buy and sell, right? Until it broke past the middle line. Right now, the middle line becomes the area of resistance and the market goes down. But what I really want you guys to look at is when we see that the Bollinger Band is slanted and not flat, this is an additional confirmation that the market is going to continue the direction it was going versus turning around. Right. So here we have a slanted lower band. We have the market continuing to sell. Here we can see the lower band straightens out and becomes an area of support. Here we can see the upper band, right, slanted, causing the market to continue to push up. It's not until we get here, right, where the upper band becomes flatter that it becomes a strong area of resistance. So I don't want to confuse you guys. I just want it to be nice and simple to let you know that you can use the upper and lower bands of the Bollinger Bands as support and resistance because the market is always going to correct itself. I also want you to pay attention to whether the upper and lower bands are slanted or if they are straight. Because they're slanted, it means the market may continue in that direction. If it is straight, it means that the market could be going for a reversal. So I really hope that this video was helpful. It's not everything you need to know about the Bollinger Bands. This is a very popular indicator with a lot of information about it. So continue to do your research. But if this video was easy enough for you to understand, I do want you to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment to let me know what you learned. But more importantly, share this video with another trader. Now that's really all I have for you guys today. Until next time, rich friends.